Hello children, so today is day three of our favourite five where we're going to have another look at our story of Sue Potato. So today, Mrs Dodge is going to ask you some questions and I'm going to give you some choices of words that we could use to answer those questions. So are you ready to join me? Some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Don't believe me? Then keep reading. It was night time in the supermarket and all was quiet. But, crash, bang, something had escaped from the freezer. Something small and round and green. Something looking for trouble. Big trouble. Help, help, cried Carrot. I'm stuck to the conveyor belt. Ah, cried Broccoli. Someone's drawn on my face. Huh, cried Cucumber. Who was doing this? And was there anyone who could help these vegetables in distress? Now, do you think the vegetables were feeling frightened or alarmed that somebody had done these things to them? I think they might be feeling frightened. <gasps> Sue Potato to the rescue! And here he is, look, in his mask and his cape. Now, Sue Potato does look very good there, doesn't he? Do you think Sue Potato looks brave or do you think he looks courageous? Mrs Doherty's thinking he looks very brave. I think I'd like to be rescued by him. He used his super speed. He used his super strength. He used a flannel and some soapy water to help wash off the crane on his face look. I know who's behind this, said Sue Potato. There's a pea on the loose. Oh no, not a pea. Everyone gasped. But Sue Potato doesn't look afraid, does he? Do you think he's feeling strong or do you think he's feeling tough? Being ready to face that pea. I think he's feeling very tough. He's ready to try and find him. Yes, a pea. But I'm out of the freezer now and I'm never going back. Wah, wah, wah. And the evil pea ran off to commit more terrible crimes. Here we are, look, do you remember? He trapped the vegetables and the fruit with the shopping basket. Do you think they're feeling scared or terrified? I think I'd be feeling scared if somebody had trapped me in a basket. Time for a dip, little veggies. That's enough, shouted Sue Potato. He leapt towards the pea, but the pea popped out of his hands and vanished into thin air. Now here's the pea look. Do you think he's feeling quite clever or quite smart for managing to escape from Sue Potato? I think he imagines he's very clever. Sue Potato set out on a super search. He crept through the cakes. He checked the cheese. Oh, super P was hiding, but he couldn't find him. And he snuck up on the beans. Then something caught his eye. The game's up, yelled Sue Potato. Kapow! But the pea bounced out of reach and onto a trolley. Sue Potato was just about to stop him with his super strength when the trolley crashed. And he was thrown down into the icy depths of the freezer. Was this the end for Sue Potato? <gasps> now, look at Sue Potato's face. Do you think he was shocked or startled to be dropping into the freezer? I think his face looks very shocked there. Not quite, but the pea was off his trolley and lying in wait. You're finished, Sue Potato, he shrieked. But Sue Potato summoned up all his strength. He wasn't going to let this pea beat him. Do you think Sue Potato was feeling determined or adamant that he was going to get the pea? I think he was quite determined. And he ran for it. The pea nearly had him at the beans and closed in at him at the cheese. He had him cornered at the cakes, 
So much for Sue Potato, Screech the Pea. You're about to be mashed potato. Surely this was the end for Sue Potato. I hope not. Not today, my friend, said Sue Potato. Gotcha, huh, said the pea. And Sue Potato had got the jelly and he'd caught the pea. Now, do you think the pea was feeling cross or annoyed that he'd been caught? I think he was feeling quite cross. Oh, yes, said Sue Potato. I set my trap and you fell for it. Or should that be in it? And he grinned a super grin. He does look happy, doesn't he, that he's caught, super, um, he's caught the pea. Do you think he's feeling delighted or do you think he's feeling ecstatic? I think he's feeling delighted. Sue Potato had saved the day. Take him away, he said. And the pea was marched back to the freezer where he belonged. This jelly tastes of pea, said Broccoli, and everybody laughed and cheered. Look at the faces of all the other vegetables and fruits. Do you think they were grateful or thankful for Stew Potato for rescuing them and saving them from the pea? I think they were very grateful. So remember, folks, some vegetables are frozen for a very good reason. Maybe you'd better go and check your freezer just in case there's an escapee in your house. So children, I hope you enjoyed joining in with some of those words today. And perhaps there was even some new words in there that you've learned that you haven't heard before. Tomorrow there'll be a chance for you to have another go at seeing if you can use some of those new words again. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye bye. <laughs>